Hello and welcome to Neha's Cook House with Puri recipe. Puri is a specialty fried Indian bread which is usually eaten as breakfast, snacks or as a lunch. These fluffy, soft and crispy puris are so easy to make with my recipe tips. So let's go through the ingredients to make them. For this you need water to knead the dough, 2 tablespoon milk, cooking oil for frying, 1 cup wheat flour, 2 teaspoons semolina, 1/2 teaspoon salt. Now let's start kneading the dough. First take 1 cup wheat flour in a bowl. Then add 2 teaspoons suji, 1/2 teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon oil and mix all ingredients well. I have added suji and oil to make puris crispy. Now all ingredients are mixed well and you can see texture of flour has become little crumbly. Now add 2 tablespoon milk and mix it well with flour. We are adding milk to make puris soft for longer period of time. After that add water little by little to knead the dough. Puri dough should be little harder than chapati dough to get the crispness in puris. In total I have used slightly more than quarter cup of water. When dough is kneaded, cover it and keep it aside for 15 minutes to set it well and to get smoothness in dough. After 15 minutes, open the bowl and again knead the dough little bit to make it even smoother. Now dough is ready, so let's make round balls of this size. In total you can make 5 to 6 balls from this dough. Now let's start rolling dough balls. Make sure to use oil to roll instead of dry flour because while frying dry flour can turn black and puri color and texture will not be perfect. So apply some oil on the surface where you will roll the dough. Now gently roll puris to make around 3 inch disc. Be careful not to roll puris too thin otherwise they will not be fluffy. Now our puri is rolled well. Similarly roll all puris. Now it's time to fry them. For this heat oil in a wok. The secret to get crispy and fluffy puri is the right temperature of oil and the way you fry it. If oil is too hot puris will turn dark and if it's too low they will not be fluffy. To check if oil is hot to the ideal temperature, first put a small flat piece of dough in oil. If it comes up quickly, it means oil is ready. Now carefully put puri in oil and press it gently with ladle like this. As you can see, this helps to fluff up the puri. After around 20 to 30 seconds when puri becomes light brown from bottom, flip it and fry from top sides till it becomes light brown from both sides. Now our puri is ready, so take it out in a plate. And similarly fry all puris one by one. Puris has come out really well and fluffy. So let's take a bite. They taste really amazing and usually go well with aloo ki sabzi, Punjabi chole or aloo gobi sabzi. So try this easy puri recipe and serve them for breakfast, lunch or dinner and keep watching Neha's cook house. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you want to try more recipes, please click on above videos. Have a healthy eating.